everybody. Let me get out of my COVID mask here. My name is Dr. Sean Anderson. I'm the chair of the longest named department on campus, the Environmental Science and Resource Management Program. Super long name. What is that? Well, when we created our campus 20 years ago, we essentially created a new major, a new way for you guys to learn about the natural world, a new way for you guys to learn how to engage with problem solving. We took the disciplines of environmental science, which historically it was things like measuring pollution in rivers and atmospheric uh, contaminants, things of that nature, merged that with this other discipline called resource management, which is primarily a people person, a, a, a social thing where we work with farmers, where we work with people dealing with wildfire, um, those types of disciplines, and we merged them together. We're the most interdisciplinary major on campus, except for liberal studies, which doesn't really count because you can take anything and be a liberal studies major. Um, but we uh, are, are a very interdisciplinary science. If you come to ESRM, you take chemistry, you take biology, et cetera, but you also take economics. We believe in the importance of communication, the importance of sociological understanding, the importance of being able to speak Spanish and all these things, right? All these other things that the traditional science disciplines um, don't always focus on. And that's because we want to arm you to solve real world problems. We are all about the practical here. We are all about real world answers. So in our major, we are mostly outside like I am right here. We're mostly doing very um, uh, skills-based uh, activities and teaching you very practical skill sets. So for example, we're out here in nature a lot, but we also work at the interface all the time. So for example, we work in places like this, where we have these houses coming in and fragmenting this scrub community. We work a lot in places uh, like, uh, or on, on issues related to things like this road, this portrayal road here right above campus that's fragmenting this part of the Santa Monica Mountains. We work out in the Oxnard Plain with farmers and, and water agencies and the like. And we work out on the Channel Islands. We work out on, on, we have a research station on Santa Rosa. We work on the other Channel Islands. We're all about getting out into the environment, understanding it, learning about it, and then if we detect that there is a problem or is a challenge, making sure that you know enough about the economics and the politics and all this and that, um, so that when you propose your science-based solutions, they can really work. That's what our, our major is all about, real world solutions. So if you guys like um, hands-on things, if you guys like um, experiential learning, if you like community-based service, all that fantastic stuff, um, I hope you would at least give us a shot and consider ESRM. You probably have a ton of fantastic options, but I hope um, you at least consider us and we'd love to have you join us here at CSUCI. If you do come here to CSUCI, what does our major look like? Well, if you've been looking at some of our historic documents, you'll see that our major has two different emphases. Now we've recently just changed these. So currently, these are our brand new emphases that we've modified to really meet the most recent needs of all of you. So we have an emphasis in marine and coastal systems and an emphasis in earth systems. Both of those give you a bachelor's of science. And um, we also offer um, a minor in ESRM. Uh, we're the, we were the first uh, program on campus to have a community advisory board. And we really uh, are constantly checking in with the community and uh, members across our discipline to figure out what skills are coming up, what skills make you the most employable. We have several unique aspects of our program. As I mentioned, we really combine traditional environmental science with the applied approach of resource management. You'll have a ton of options when you graduate. Primarily, we are a field-based um, discipline. We also, even though people think of us as, as nature lovers and out counting things out, out in the natural world, we use a lot of technology. We use a lot of technology in the lab and a lot of technology to assist us when we're out in the field, like GIS, like uh, high-tech mapping and drones and things of that nature. Again, interdisciplinarity is really, really key to who we are. And um, we are very much so about giving you a distinct set of skills that you can apply to solve problems when you graduate. 
our program has, uh, we've worked very hard to have some really key aspects of our program that are innervated throughout, throughout the entirety of our course offerings. Central to most of our courses is data analysis and, is, and writing. Every job you do, you're going to need to be able to write. So we really emphasize um, writing, helping you guys all become stronger writers. Again, a whole host of applied skills and really this, this strong community engagement. We're very much tied to our communities where we work, and we weave that throughout our courses. Everybody takes these core courses, regardless of your emphasis. So we, we start with some foundations in ESRM, uh, biology, chemistry, economics, etc. Uh, then we have a, a, a bit of a focus on traditional environmental science and a bit of focus on traditional resource management. We have essential skills, which mostly uh, focus on quantitative skills. And part of that is also our, our signature capstone experience. We're the only science major on campus that has a year long capstone requirement where you do your own original research, present it. And these become uh, really key things when you're hunting for jobs, key uh, evidence that you can show employers, this is the, the caliber of work I can do were you to hire me. We also have a strong emphasis on the field, on getting out of the classroom, be that uh, across campus, across Ventura County, out of the Channel Islands, across the state, or across the country and world. Then if you are uh, marine and coastal science emphasis, you will choose from uh, a mix of coastal related uh, projects and electives or uh, courses and electives and the same with our earth systems uh, where you will focus on more terrestrial type of issues. Again, field course is really important to us. This is my New Orleans class. We've been traveling to New Orleans every year since 2007, except for the years of the pandemic where we've been uh, uh, not allowed to go there. Uh, here in New Orleans, we do uh, wetland restoration and we install food gardens in uh, communities that don't have access to healthy, affordable food. In our Cook Islands uh, class, we take students to uh, Tropical Island and look at what are some of the drivers of stress, what are some of the human dimensions of that stress, what are some of the, the biological, natural sources of stress, and we um, uh, help uh, folks create data sets that, they, that we can then leave with the villages and the uh, communities to answer and respond to their challenges. Um, here's a, another one of my trips to Hawaii in this case, where I took my coastal marine management class um, to look at some of the coastal issues we traditionally look at in California. In this case, we're looking at them in Hawaii. Um, this is our Costa Rica class where we take students to Costa Rica. All of these trips, I should say, are underwritten by campus. All of these trips, uh, you, the student, pay about a third of the trip cost. Campus pays two-thirds the trip cost. Some of these are a bit expensive. Some of these are, are pretty cheap, but they're all incredibly reasonable. So, for example, for my New Orleans class where we go for about two weeks, you pay about 700 bucks. That covers everything. That covers your airfare, food, board, everything for two weeks in New Orleans. We do tons of research as well, even though we're a small program. We do uh, all kinds of research, such as on oil spills here in the Gulf Coast, on, on ecological fragmentation and tracking of uh, uh, predators and things of that nature in the Santa Monica Mountains and beyond. Almost all of our work is very tightly tied to the local community and the local needs of those people and um, and their interactions with the natural world. We often build research experiences into our classes. This is one of our um, former students who is uh, working on our seafood survey, where we survey um, uh, the offerings of seafood in our local communities to try to understand how sustainable our seafood supply is. And all of this is built around, again, essential skills, whether it's in class, whether it's an activity outside of class, etc. And uh, we very much so emphasize making sure that you guys, when you graduate, you will be an effective contributor to whatever organization you are employed with. 
uh, we're always doing new things. Uh, uh, this is just before the pandemic. These are on the left, some of my students in our AARR research group. Um, above, you see Dr. Claire Steele being interviewed by a local television station for some of our work on microplastics. On the right, you see um, some of our work with our drones to spot um, still burning oil seeps in the wake of the Thomas fire, even though this is years after the Thomas fire. All of these types of projects are driven by you. Are, are, can't happen without the involvement of undergrads like you all volunteering, working with us, gaining those really cute, cool experiences that will then in turn become a key stepping stone for you in the job market. What do our graduates do? All kinds of stuff. This is just a little teeny tiny taste. Some of our students do ranger type stuff. Some of our students do um, uh, active manipulation of the landscape and doing restoration. We have a lot of folks doing water quality technicians working in the tech industry, um, uh, robotics, drones, mapping, things of that nature. We have a lot of stu uh, students that work for county, local governments doing um, mapping and geospatial work. Um, and it just goes on and on. This is just a, a quick grab of a few of where uh, uh, employers of where our students work. A lot of federal agencies, local agencies, nonprofits, a lot of companies, um, and uh, uh, all kinds of agencies in between from public to private, etc. Um, here's our, uh, just a handful of some of our alumni. Lisa, now, it's, this actually says Fish and Wildlife Service Ranger. She's out now actually... Uh, transferred. She's now one of the key spokesmen whenever we have wildfires in the state of California. She's one of the people that talks to the media. Uh, Reed does a lot of uh, endangered species surveys all around. In this case, he's in New Mexico. Um, Travis is doing a master's in Germany. Cassidy just finished or finished a little bit ago um, her master's. She is a student of Native American descent, and she was very interested in, in deepening her understanding of um, native plants and how they fit into traditional native uses and how we might be able to then in turn take that native tradition and use those for active conservation um, in the Santa Monica Mountains and beyond. Stephen uh, just did his uh, finish up his master's in wildlife management, tracking bighorn sheep. Adam works for a, um, a pollution remediation company. Evan works for United Water District. Uh, Dorothy um, is one of our students. She she just is almost done with her PhD program, which she went into uh, building off of the work she did with us uh, here at CSUCI. And just to illustrate an example uh, using Dorothy there, um, this was a project that started with um, work that we were doing for our faculty research. She got really interested. Um, this In this case, we were looking at the health of beaches, our sandy beaches. And uh, we started looking at microplastics and she got really interested in microplastics and said, hey, are these sand crabs, which is the critter that's in her hand or in that jar, uh, hey, do, are, do these sand crabs ingest plastic? And I said, I don't know, let's find out. So we got some jars, we got some plastic, started checking it out and it led her down this whole path that has led her to doing all kinds of um, fantastic research. Her PhD is on this subject. She's doing work on microplastics in Costa Rica, in, in Washington state, all up and down the Pacific coast. And she's uh, frequently interviewed by the media now as a local expert on microplastics and what that's doing to our coastal environment. In short, um, we're a really exciting program. We hope you give us a serious look. Uh, we'd love to talk with you more. We'd love to see you next year. Um, again, know you have lots of options, but we hope you at least consider our, our little program that might be, might be small compared to other programs, but we really do play um, a, an outsized role both in our local community and in terms of prepping you for the future and helping to solve a lot of our problems in real world situations with actual solutions that we can all apply. So thanks a lot, you guys. Hope to see you soon and have a great day. Stay safe, wash your hands, and uh, let me know if I can answer any other questions for you. Thanks so much.